Hello, my name is Ashutosh Shivastu, a student of Civil Engineering, B.Tech, Faculty of Engineering and Technology, University of Lucknow, and I am going to present a presentation on the topic road power generation. So, first of all, let us see what is road power generation. <coughs> to start with the introduction, we know due to the advent and development in the field of renewable resources. The dependence on fossil fuel and conventional energy sources has been decreased drastically. The automotive industry has the one of the fastest growing industry and with increasing vehicles number, the large amount of energy loss also occurs. This energy loss occurs mostly due to the loss in kinetic energy and the uh, potential energy of vehicles. By using a power generation unit, a significant amount of this energy can be tapped. It is also known as a root power generator. It is it's an unconventional way of generating energy, but it is quite effective. Uh, the rapid increase in demand for electricity and the recent change in environmental conditions such as global warming led to a need for a new source of energy. Hence, RPG is a technique of generating electrical energy using roads. Why road power generation? So the speed of energy consumption has been faster than the speed of natural resources regeneration for many years. Now, uh, we know that the speed of fossil fuel consumption is more than its regeneration. Uh, this has led to development of different unconventional methods of energy generation. Uh, producing electricity from a road is, in, is one of such concepts that is undergoing research. In this sense, numerous researchers are working on technologies for renewable har energy harvesting. Roads are a common feature of country, hence can be used to generate power in a wide range. This is also a reliable method as road is the most common feature of a nation. Different methods of power generation. Now, there are basically two basic methods that have been used for power generation. The first is using the solar roadways or by using the sun. In this method, uh, solar cells are used to tap the energy of sun and is converted into electrical energy. The second method includes using the vibrations or the kinetic energy. So the vibrations produced by a car driving on the road can be used to generate electricity by using a road power generator. Using vibrations of the road or in other words tapping the kinetic energy generated on road by motion of vehicles and converting it into electrical energy can be used. Solar roadways. Now let us understand the first method of energy con uh, energy generation. Solar roadway. Solar roadways require installation of photovoltaic glass modules over pavement surfaces. These modules include microprocessor with light emitting diodes as well as heating elements. Microprocessor and light emitting diodes are generally used uh, in the uh, light emitting diodes are used for night lights and microprocessors are generally used for transmitting uh, process data. The heating elements are used in countries with very cold uh, very cold atmosphere and where the snowfall occurs like, uh, like countries or in Siberia and the northern hemisphere countries. The energy that can be harvested from solar roadways is over 16 million kilometers of paved road. Uh, in around the world that are exposed to sunlight. Now we know that in around the world more than 16 million kilometer of road has is exposed to sunlight and this is the most important feature which we can use for generating or harvesting energy uh, from sol uh, in form of uh, uh, in form of energy from solar roadways. However, installing glass modules on roadways is no easy task. Since glass panels replace asphalt surface, car tires must be able to grip the surface and glass panels must be durable and capable of withstanding heavy weights. Shading from trees, buildings and clouds can also reduce the exposure to the sun. Also, the cost, high cost and pow uh, power fluctuation due to these obstacles are the disadvantages of solar roadways. Despite these challenges, several companies have developed photovoltaic modules that can either replace asphalt or be placed directly on top of existing roads. In microprocessors, in United States, solar roadways have developed solar modules that includes microprocessors technology. Now, uh, these microprocessors are used for intelligent communication. 
In China, a 2 km road has been built in the Shandong province with the aim of powering street lights and containing a snow melting system of on the road. There is one more method of solar road prayers. It is called the thermoelectric generators or the TEGs. These are also used but are little different from solar road prayer. TEGs car harvest energy from road and they are basically based on a seaback effect. TEG can convert geothermal energy which is produced from the heat differential between the road surface and the layer beneath into electrical energy as the temperature differential increases more electrical energy is produced thus making this technology well suited to areas with extremely hot weather research is currently underway in southwest of the US to test this technology and potentially make use of it in rural areas but it is only suitable for areas with high temperature regions this is the only disadvantage of this method in the image shown on the left and the bottom of the screen we can see a waterway solar road system which is currently being trialed across the france across the <coughs> country of france it includes uh, solar panels installed under the road and it is used to power the gates and the payment machines now the second method of generating so uh, road power uh, electricity from road is by using vibrations this gives us the methods of mechanical me mechanical road power generation so mechanical method of road power generation includes a term called rpg or a road power generator a road power generator is a device which is engineered engineered as a useful alternative energy technology for generating clean energy from millions of vehicles what it does it basically converts the kinetic energy of vehicle into electrical energy also it captures very small movement from the road surface and applies it to a unique circular circulating flywheel system there are different uh rpgs which are used currently across uh, the globe out of which the most important rpgs are the flip plate rpg and the electric kinetic road ramps the flip plate rpgs have moving plates installed on the road surface these plates capture very small movement from the road surface uh plates are followed by a rack and pinion arrangement flip plates convert the stroke motion of the vehicle into the rotatory motion by rack and pinion concept two flip plates are mounted on the road surface and these plates are followed by rack and pinion arrangement this pinion uh, is mounted on the shaft which is attached to a frame via bearing <coughs> frame is installed under the road the flywheel with pulley is mounted on the shaft and second pulley is mounted on the dc generator and these two pulley are connected with the help of a v belt uh these pulleys are further connected down the shaft to a dc generators and this dc generator is one which is responsible for pro generating electricity fly wheels produce large amount of moment of inertia in a small space in the left figure uh in the right figure you can see a flip plate mechanism in this it is very much evident that in the lower most level of the shaft we can see a flywheel system flywheels are designed in such a way that they produce large moment of inertia or large torque in very small space this helps this reduces the amount of gear required to produce the equal amount of moment of inertia the second method is known as electrokinetic road ramps these are again very similar but are installed in place of flip plates these are basically ramps or speed breakers as vehicles pass over the ramp due to vehicle load pressure plates present on the ramps are pressed down all pressure plates are connected to shaft using a rack and pinion mechanism now this rack and pinion mechanism what is does is it converts the linear motion of pressure plate into angular and motion and rotates shaft shaft is connected to gearbox this gearbox is further connected down the shaft to flywheel and dc alternator 
Further, gear and flywheel mechanism is followed by a DC generator and a DC alternator. This DC alternator converts the rotational energy to electrical energy. As a result, it produces electricity. In the left figure, it, where you can see that two different levels of shafts are connect, uh, shafts are present. The upper shaft has a rack and a pinion mechanism. Once the speed, uh, once the uh, pinion uh, a movement is generated on the pinion gear, it rotates the shaft, which in turn generates a movement at the large sprocket. This movement is transferred to the small sprocket on the below sh lower level shaft, and this small movement is uh, increased in value using a flywheel mechanism. It is you can see that this flywheel mechanism is a very thick wheel-like structure which obviously will generate a very large movement or increase the va uh, value of movement which uh, was induced in small sprocket. Further, a large gear is connected and a small gear to a DC generator. Now, there is one more method of generating electricity. Uh, this method is called piezoelectric roads or use, use using piezoelectricity to generate electricity from roads. The word piezoelectricity means electricity resulting from pressure. It is basically a Greek word and it is derived from uh, it is derived from a Greek word piezon or piezo which means to squeeze or to press and electron which stands for amber an ancient source of electric charge. The roads which produce electricity by application of mechanical energy when vehicle moves over the road, those roads are called piezoelectric roads. These roads are having a piezoelectric sensor within them to produce electricity. Now, when applied to the uh, when this technology is applied on the road, it has been confirmed by countries like USA and Israel that these roads can produce up to 44 megawatts of electricity per year for one kilometer stretch of road. Further, uh, looking down to the construction of piezoelectric uh, roads, uh, it is very much evident that the construction uh, changes slightly on the top surface. Uh, see, the first layer is laid with fine gravel and sand content. This is very much the same as that of the general road constructions. Then a thin layer of asphalt is laid, which acts like a strong base for generator. This layer acts as a foundation point for generators and then piezoelectric generators are placed in quick drying concrete as per the design and left for 30 minutes. In this figure, in the left figure, you can see how a section of road is cut and then over the asphalt section, a piezoelectric generator is placed. Now all the generators are wired in series to get the collective output. These generators are further wired in the lowermost uh, column, uh, lowermost image, you can see the wiring of the generators uh, in a uh, the wiring of the piezoelectric generators and then covering the generators with thin layer of bitumen. A bitumen sheet is used to cover all the generators to provide better addition of concrete to asphalt. Finally, a thick layer of asphalt is laid which finishes the construction. That thick layer of asphalt is provided uh, to make the to provide the friction coefficient to the vehicles or the sufficient friction to the vehicles and to prevent any damage to generators due to the large pressure of vehicle. Now how harvesting is done in piezoelectric materials, piezoelectric uh, piezo roads. So in this process material is embedded within the surface of the road with electrical generating devices. Generators harvest the energy of, uh, of the vehicle, this is basically the mechanical energy and convert to electrical energy. This happens by uh, when a force is or a pressure is exerted to elastic piezoelectric crystal material. Electrical energy is transferred and stored via harvesting modules. These harvesting modules are installed as, is, aside the piezoelectric uh, generators in the road and these harvesting modules store this energy. These are uh, energy stored in these harvesting modules are further ch used to charge battery on one side of the road and from there it is distributed. In this figure, in the top figure, you can see a cross section area of a piezoelectric generator. Here it is very much evident that two forces are acting, uh, 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 F left and F right. This, these are basically the two front and the rear wheels of a vehicle or a four wheeler vehicle 
and this will generate or compress a rigid compression compressing plate further providing a uh, this will uh, generate piezoelectric uh, this will uh, in turn provide electricity to piezoelectric harvesting unit uh, and which which is uh, anchored by a force anchoring plate force trans transmission flanges are used these force transmission flanges help in transmitting the compressive load to the piezoelectric uh, harvesting unit these piezoelectric harvesting unit basically includes piezoelectric materials or crystals which when compressed produces or generates electricity what is the application of rpgs or road power generation or piezoelectric roads or generating energy from roads in different countries so in united states the first the recent development is in the united states in the states of california they have basically invested 2 to 3 million uh, us dollars to fund two independent projects which aim to determine the viability of embedding piezoelectric roads devices in the roads to harvest energy again uh, there is this uk environment transport association they have also proposed the same piezoelectric roads they can generate 400 kilowatts per kilometer and has been designed and tested in israel with uh, excellent results further in united states in the southwest region uh, like that of arizona research is currently underway for uh, to test thermoelectric generators since thermoelectric generators are uh, used only in hot Uh, climate or in climate which are very much dry and hot so they are used in the southwest regions of the united states near the equatorial plain uh, they potentially make use of it in rural areas and in airports to power lights and traffic sensors now what are the disadvantages of piezoelectric roads or rpgs uh, first of all the method of road power generation is very costly its installation is costly and more than that the maintenance cost is cost high also in case of piezoelectric roads or in case of rpgs we have to uh, cut a cross section of road or we have to remove a particular uh, section or volume of road also in case of uh, uh, thermoelectric uh, thermoelectric generators or in case of solar roadways we have to provide solar panels on the surface of road this further reduces the road's durability also energy fluctuation occurs since the density traffic density of roads vary in each and every state in every country the well, uh, energy variation occurs mechanical rpgs can be rusted with time hence requires continuous inspection so this is very much the most common uh, disadvantage with the mechanical rpgs uh, conclusion so uh, in this presentation we saw what is the initial working procedure of different Uh, meti uh, different techniques to gen uh, which are used to generate electricity from roads but there is ex uh, these technologies are still under research we know that the existing source of energy which are basically coal and oil they may not be adequate to meet the ever increasing energy demands and these cannot be replenished within time if once completely used these conventional sources of energy are also depleting and may get exhausted so we require road power generation methods uh, since uh, although these methods are very much in their beta stage or in early stage it is still one step forward to the path of exploring possibilities of energy from several conventional and conventional uh, or non conventional energy sources thank you